So Second Kings chapter two, Elijah's ministry ends. It happened when the Lord wanted to take up Elijah by a whirlwind into heaven that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Now, no one has ascended into heaven. You you can't be in the presence of God while you're in mortal, sinful, human situation like we are. So we only get eternal life when Jesus comes back. So Elijah didn't go up into heaven in the sense of into the presence of God. In the Bible, heaven sometimes just means the sky, and some Bibles translate it like that. So what happened here is that Elijah was snatched away very dramatically in the eyes of Elisha. He was snatched away into the sky as a sign that his ministry had come to an end, his service of God. And later on, you read of a letter coming from Elijah to one of the kings. And so it shows that he did return to the earth. And in fact, that's what people expected, because when he was snatched away, we're going to read that people went out looking for him. And earlier, when Ahab um, was being horrible to all the people of Israel and was going around Israel in the time of the famine looking for Elijah... Well, one of his servants came and found Elijah. And Elijah said, well, go and tell the king that you found me. And he said, well, no, because as soon as I tell the king you're in such and such a place, you'll just disappear off somewhere else. So it was quite common for Elijah to be snatched away like this, rather like Philip when he baptized the Ethiopian eunuch in the desert. He was suddenly snatched away and he was found at Caesarea. So God can do this. In the Bible times, God could do things like that. And this is what happened to Elijah. He was snatched away up into the sky by a whirlwind. Anyway, Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal, and Elijah said to Elisha, please wait here. I don't know if called Philip. Yeah, well, we're talking about Elijah and Elisha, really. So Elijah says to Elisha, please wait here, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. Elisha said, as the Lord lives... And as you live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets who were at Bethel came out to Elisha, and they said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master today? He said, Yes, I know it. Be quiet. Elijah said to him, Elisha, please wait here, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. He said, As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho, and the sons of the prophets who were at Jericho came near to Elisha, and they said to him, do you know that the Lord will take away your master from you today? He said, Yes, I know it. Be quiet. Elijah again said to Elisha, Please wait here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan River. He said, As the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they both went on. Fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood opposite them at a distance, and they both stood by the Jordan River. <clears throat> Elijah took his mantle, that's kind of a hood, that they wore in those days to keep the sun off or to keep them warm and he wrapped it together and he struck the waters and the waters of the river were divided so that Elijah and Elisha crossed the Jordan on dry ground just like happened when the Israelites came into the land the first time and like happened at the Red Sea when they'd gone over Elijah said to Elisha ask what I shall do for you before I'm taken from you Elisha said, Please let a double portion of your spirit be on me. Elijah said, You've asked a hard thing. If you see me when I am taken from you, it will be so. But if not, it won't be. And as they went on walking and talking with each other, behold, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated them, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into the sky. Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. He saw him no more, and Elisha took hold of his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah, this kind of hood that Elijah wore. He took up the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of the Jordan River. He took the mantle of Elijah that fell down from him and struck the waters and said, Where is Yahweh, the God of Elijah? When he had struck the waters, they were divided again, and Elisha crossed the Jordan. When the sons of the prophets, who were at Jericho, opposite him, saw him, they said, 
the spirit of Elijah rests on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. They said to him, See now, there are with your servants fifty strong men. Please let them go and look for your master Elijah. Perhaps the spirit of the Lord has taken him up and put him on a mountain or in some valley. Elisha said, Don't send them. But when they urged him until he was ashamed, he said, OK, send them. So they sent these fifty young men, and they searched for three days, but they didn't find him. And they came back to him where he, stay, where he was staying at Jericho. So you can see that this idea of Elijah being snatched up into the sky and then just put down somewhere else, that was how they were accustomed to think of things happening to Elijah, and that's why they went out to look for him. So this doesn't mean that when we die, we go to heaven. The Bible is very clear that when we die, we are unconscious. We go back to the dust and that we have no immortal soul that goes on living after we're dead. And the spirit, the breath of life and the memory of us as people, that is stored with God. But we ourselves are not conscious. We're not playing harps, sitting on clouds. We are not actually existing in a conscious sense. And so our hope is the resurrection at the coming of Jesus. Now when Jesus comes, there's the question of how are we going to get to the day of judgment? Because he will come and sit on his throne in Jerusalem, the throne of David, or the place where David had his throne, literally there in Jerusalem in Israel. And if he comes right now, how are we going to get there? We who live, let's say, in Australia, in England, in Latvia, wherever we are in Russia, wherever we might be in America, how are we all going to get there? And this is the answer, that we will be snatched away. It doesn't mean we'll go up to, into heaven itself, but we'll be snatched away. It'll just take a, a second, and suddenly we'll be there. And so that is what happened to Elijah and it was a sign, really, that his ministry had finished and that God was replacing him with Elisha. Uh, 